Okay, we're going to take a look at some um, subtraction problems with decimals, uh, starting with base 10 blocks, and then we'll go from there. Um, so we look at this problem 729 and 1 tenth subtracted, uh, or minus 618 and 3 tenths. Um, so what we are going to do first is we're going to match up um, each place value okay, to uh, see what's going on. So we have this 1 tenth. We're going to match it up with one of the ones we're taking away. Okay. Now we still have two left here. We can't have that. So we need to break apart one of the ones into ten tenths, right? Because one is ten tenths. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring that down and get rid of these other two. Okay. So right now we have eight tenths remaining. Okay. We're still not done. We have to look at each place value. So let's start matching up these base ten blocks. And we're going to have enough for each one, so that's zero. And we bring down ten. We have one ten left, and let's start taking away. So hundreds. Okay, so when we have 729 and one tenth, and we take away from that 618 and three tenths, we are left with one hundred, one ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths or 110 and 8 tenths. Alright, let's take a look at this problem. It's 522 and 5 tenths subtracted, uh, and we subtract from that 294 and 9 tenths. So again, let's look at the hundreds and let's start matching up. Right away, I, I see that there's 5 tenths and there's 9 tenths down here, so I'm going to have to borrow from the ones column. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So now I have 15 in here. I have 9 in here, but now I'm just going to start subtracting. Because remember, we can't just have 15 there. Keep matching them up. Okay. That leaves me with 6 tenths, so I'm still not done. Again, I see I have one group of 1s here, or 1... Um, I have one here left, and then I have one, two, three, four here. So I do need to borrow from the tens. So I'm going to borrow from the tens. So I have 11 in here, but I'm going to match these up. Oops. And one more. And that gives me seven. So again, I see I only have one group of ten here, and I have a bunch over here, so I have to borrow from my hundreds. And I borrow from my hundreds, matching up. And now I'm with my hundreds. We've got to start matching up there. So if we take a look at 522 and 5 tenths subtract minus 294 and 9 tenths. That leaves us with 2 groups of 100, 2 groups of 10, 7 ones, and 6 tenths, or 227 and 6 tenths. Okay, now this uh, problem has two uh, place values to the right, so we have hundreds. So we have 30 and 5 tenths, or 30 and 5. 100, 50 hundreds, so, uh, and we're going to subtract from that 9 and 63 hundreds. So uh, I don't see any hundreds in this problem one, so we have to borrow from the, our tenths and make 10 hundreds and start subtracting from there. One, two, three. So we have seven hundreds left. There's no more to take away. Here, I now see there's four here and one, two, three, four, five, six here. So I can't take six away from four. So I'm going to need to borrow from one of my ones, but there's no ones, so I'm going to have to borrow from the tens. So I have to bring the ten over. I'm going to have to take one of those ones and bring it over. And now I can take away. And that leaves us with eight tenths over here. I'm going to start matching up my ones here. And that leaves us with two groups of ten, no ones, um, eight groups of ten, and seven groups of hundred, or twenty and eighty-seven hundreds.